Introducing Claude, the latest AI assistant from Anthropic. Co-founded by ex-employees of OpenAI, Anthropic has been quietly testing Claude, a cutting-edge AI assistant similar to ChatGPT. Currently, the only way to access Claude is through a closed beta Slack integration. But don't let that stop you from experiencing Claude's unparalleled abilities and unique features that sets it apart from others in the field. Join us as we unveil the secrets behind Claude's success and explore the concerns surrounding Anthropic's association with Sam Bankman-Fried in our exclusive video. How is Claude different from ChatGPT? Anthropic, the company behind the new AI assistant Claude, has been working hard to develop an AI that can rival the likes of OpenAI's ChatGPT. Recently, Claude has been hailed for its comprehensive understanding of its identity, who created it, and the ethical principles guiding its design. This unique feature sets Claude apart from other AI assistants, and we will later examine how this knowledge helps it answer complex questions about itself and comprehend the extent of its abilities. Both Claude and ChatGPT use reinforcement learning to train a model that prefers specific outputs. These preferred outputs are then used for further fine-tuning. However, how they create these preference models is different. Anthropic uses a method called constitutional AI. The model chooses the best answers based on a set of underlying principles, referred to as its constitution. The only human intervention in the reinforcement learning process occurs during the creation of this constitution. Claude's Strengths and Weaknesses some people have already started testing Claude's capabilities. Alex Tabarrok, an economics professor at George Mason University, writes on the Marginal Revolution blog he runs with Tyler Cohen that Claude earned a marginal pass on a recent blind-graded test. Claude was tasked with writing and improving upon the laws and economics of intellectual property for its examination. According to Tabarrok, the answers were superior to many of the responses received from actual humans. When given a large amount of text examples from the web, Claude learned to predict word likelihood based on context. As a result, Claude could hold open-ended conversations, tell jokes, and discuss various subjects. Riley Goodside, a prompt engineer at Scale AI, asked Claude and ChatGPT to compare themselves to a machine from a Polish science fiction novel, The Siberiad, that can only create objects whose name begins with N. Claude's answer suggested that it had read the story, while ChatGPT gave a more general response. Goodside also had Claude write a fictional episode of Seinfeld and a poem in the style of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, which produced human-like results, although not perfect. Yann Dubois, a PhD student at Stanford's AI lab, compared Claude and ChatGPT and found that Claude is more compliant to the prompts given, but is less concise and tends to explain itself and ask how it can further assist. However, Claude is able to answer more trivia questions correctly, particularly in areas of entertainment, geography, history, and basic algebra, without the additional information that ChatGPT sometimes includes. Additionally, Claude is able to admit when it does not know the answer to a question, which ChatGPT cannot do. Dubois found that Claude is weaker in math compared to ChatGPT, making visible errors and giving inadequate follow-up responses. Similarly, Claude is less proficient in programming, providing clear explanations of its code, but lacking proficiency in languages other than Python. Claude also struggles with hallucination, a common issue in ChatGPT-like AI systems where the AI generates inconsistent and inaccurate statements. For example, Elton prompted Claude to invent a name for a non-existent chemical and provide questionable instructions for creating weapons-grade uranium. One of the most exciting things about Claude is its ability to understand and adhere to its own ethical principles, which is a step forward in the development of AI systems. This opens up new possibilities for the use of AI in various industries, such as healthcare, finance, and education, where the ability to operate ethically and morally is of the utmost importance. Claude is a strong rival for ChatGPT, excelling in several areas. Despite its initial purpose as a representation of constitutional principles, Claude not only declines inappropriate requests more frequently, but also offers a more enjoyable experience. Its writing style is more elaborate, yet also more authentic. Its capability to write coherently about itself, its boundaries and aims, enables it to respond to other questions more effortlessly. 
Anthropic plans to continue developing Claude, and they expect to release a public version of the AI Assistant soon. They are currently working on expanding the number of principles the AI follows and developing new ways to test and evaluate the AI's adherence to these principles. As we continue to see the development of AI systems, we must consider these systems' ethical and moral implications. Anthropic's approach with Claude is a step in the right direction, and we look forward to seeing how it will continue to evolve and impact the world. Ties to Sam Bankman-Fried we mentioned Sam Bankman-Fried, also known as SBF, in the beginning of this video. So, let us explain how the fraudster and once boy wonder of crypto, with a personal net worth once exceeding $26 billion, is linked with Anthropic. In May 2022, Anthropic secured $580 million in Series B funding from none other than Sam Bankman-Fried in a round led by him. In December 2022, Bankman-Fried was arrested and now faces eight criminal charges, including wire fraud and conspiracy to commit money laundering. Could he have used customer funds from FTX to invest in Anthropic? That's a natural question to ask, and something we may find out in his trial starting October 2, 2023. What we do know, however, is that we will continue reporting on news in the generative AI space. To stay tuned for more updates on Anthropic and Claude, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in our next video.